My name is uh, William Wines. I'm here in Munich at the ESC Congress, and I have the privilege to interview Professor Steen Christensen from Aarhus, Denmark. Steen, you are the um, Treasurer, Secretary of the ESC, but the reason why we are meeting here today is because you are the Chairman of Stand for Life Initiative. So could you, could you tell us what Stand for Life is about? Stand for Life is really about implementing the best therapy for our patients with acute coronary syndromes, in particular ST elevation myocardial infarction. We know that the best therapy is really to try to get the patient to a place where primary PCI is available 24-7. And this is what the program is about. It's really about helping to implement uh, this strategy, which is also emphasized in the ESC guidelines to countries within the ESC. So you're promoting reperfusion therapy of acute coronary syndromes, particularly STEMI, yes. and that's why it is called Stand for Life? Yeah, I think Stand for Life was chosen because it's a bit of a catchy name, but it's actually not about just selling stents. But as you know, stents are really what is recommended when we do acute reperfusion therapy with primary PCI. So that's why this uh, was chosen as the name of the initiative around four years ago. Right. You mentioned about recommendations and new STEMI guidelines were issued at this meeting. Is there anything in these guidelines that will impact on Stand for Life? Well, I think the guidelines still strongly emphasizes that primary PCI is the best reperfusion therapy. But I think also there are important new, let's let me say, there's been put more uh, emphasis on the importance of giving this therapy timely and implementing yes. ST elevation myocardial infarction networks in order really to reduce time delay. And this is one of our major goals also within the Stand for Life. So it's not just about give, doing primary PCI in more patients, it's also about doing it faster with optimal pre-hospital diagnosis and transfer in order to improve outcome. So I think these new guidelines with strengths and emphasis on time delays will fit very well into what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Can you mention about some success stories in the various countries uh, where Stand for Live is uh, rolling out? Yes. We have chosen uh, to a strategy where we have been supporting uh, Stand for Life uh, in 10 countries. Um, and uh, these countries uh, have a local uh, organization uh, with a project manager and a top cardiologist that is actually in charge of the, of the national initiative. But then we have some guidelines, some support material to try to help them in order to implement it. And I'm happy to say that in fact, in all 10 countries, we can see progress in terms of increase in the numbers of patients that have primary PCI. At the occasion of the ESC meeting, what were the essential Stand for Life events, uh, so to speak? Yes, I think a very important uh, triumph for us is that we have a whole issue, a whole supplementum of the Euro intervention dedicated to the results of the Stand for Life and the progress during the last four years. And this is actually available at the EAPCI booth. Also, we've had a very nice uh, symposium where we have been discussing uh, what has happened in different countries and also uh, discussed cost effectiveness. So it's not only a uh, life-saving therapy to implement primary PCI, it's actually also cost-effective. I think these are some of the major things that has been going on during this Congress. Yeah, I have this uh, um, supplement of your intervention journal with me. It's uh, fully dedicated to Stand for Life initiative and indeed it contains a lot of information and also reports from the various Stand for Life countries. Now, um, if anyone uh, is interested in learning even more about Stand for Life, um, who should they contact? Um, well, I think we have a website that is widely available. It's simply called standforlife.com. There will also be information on both the 
the EuroPCR and the ESC website because it's an initiative that is hosted by the EAPCI, the ESC and the EuroPCR. So actually there's a lot of information on the web, but of course also people can be free to, to contact me or one of the other leaders or our project manager by email directly if they want more information. Well, great. Thank you very much. Uh, we wish you uh, continued success with this uh, wonderful initiative. Um, and this uh, great implementation uh, program. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, William.